Y'all don't store it all at once. <laughs> what have you seen out of your group here <clears throat> through a couple weeks of preseason camp? We're getting we're getting better. Um, the communication has been better. The physicality has been better. The sense of urgency. The uh, just our alignment assignment. Just overall as a group, we're getting better. Who have you found that's really stepped up this camp? Stepped up individually? Yeah. Well, collectively, they've all stepped up. But I'm pleased with Kyrie, man. I'm, ple I'm pleased with Arden. I'm really pleased with Tajay McCoy. He's a young guy, and it's a lot. We're throwing a lot on him, and he wants to be better. He wants to be exactly who he said he is coming out of high school. Um, he's proven to be that guy. Uh, he's young. He still makes bonehead mistakes. But, man, the guy watches film. He does extra and he's coming along really, really well. And I'm pleased with Tajay. He works hard. You know, I coach him hard. <clears throat> he doesn't get in his feelings. He's like an old school type of kid in 2023, you know? Mm -hmm. He doesn't think about the things that doesn't matter. He only wants to get better at football, and I'm really pleased with him. Now, he has a long way to go, don't get me wrong, but he'll be a really good player in the future. Seems like you guys have a couple guys going back and forth working with you and Sal. What kind of, uh, what's that partnership like between you and him? Oh, Uncle Sal, man, he's great. You know, <laughs> whenever he's not covering something, I can do it. You know, he'll he'll send over some of the big ends. We'll we'll work some technique stuff, surf drill, and just hand placement. Just we have some combo guys that can play bulk as well as D line. You know, big end. So we want to make sure we're getting a variety of different uh, drills. And they're hearing two different coaches say the same thing. You know, and we got our different styles of coaching. So that's good for them. You know, they'll come over with me. We do different things, you know. So that's been beneficial for a lot of those guys. Your room looks a lot different from the spring, but obviously yeah. Jordan Dominic's still a carryover and a leader in that room. How helpful has he been so far in fall camp, just kind of passing things on to the new guys? He's been great, and that's exactly what he's been. He's been a guy that made it through the spring. He's heard a lot of these calls. He, he's ran a lot of these plays in the spring. So he's bringing Ty J along. He's been great for the room. Um, he's, he's awesome. What have you seen from Derek McClendon so far? He's one of those guys that we've seen go back and forth yep. a little bit, but just yep. coming from Florida State, seems like he's got a lot to bring for you guys. Yeah, he's got to get in better shape. We all do. That's one thing from this altitude. Or what is it out here? I'm from South Georgia. Why is it so hard to breathe? You know, <laughs> Same man. Air. man. So he he needs to get in better shape, but he's going to be a player for us. And that's a, that's a lot of our guys' problem. We got to get in great shape. You know, then we can communicate and run to the ball and do the things that we're asking them to do. <laughs> They got to get in great shape, and Derek's coming along. You know, he's the thin air shocked him at first, but he's getting used to it. You can tell. Is it the same similar with Savell? Obviously, he's a yeah. former five-star recruit, but do you see yeah. the flashes from him though? That absolutely, absolutely. A, a lot of it is getting in great shape, man. You know what I mean? Football is hard. If it was easy, all of us would do it. So we're asking a lot out of these guys. So let's start by getting in elite, tip-top shape, and then, man, you can be a better football player. You helped recruit Shane Cox here. I'm curious what you remember about that evaluation He's process awesome. and just recruiting him to Boulder. Oh, what I remember about the process, I remember going in his house and sitting with his mom and dad, Mr. Sean, for about six hours. And man, if you ever meet his mom and dad, they're extremely intelligent people, they're educated people. They wanted him to academics, academics, academics. You can tell, you know, and that's what's important to them. He's an Ivy League graduate. He's smart. He's a pro. He does everything right. He does extra. He's a leader. I mean, I love that guy. I literally love that kid. And he's going to be successful. I think we all know Shane Coates will be successful. Whether he's playing football or not, that guy will be successful in life. He comes, he, he comes from an amazing family, his mom and dad. But I just remember sitting down in his house, and his mom and dad was grilling me, you know, because they wanted they, you can tell they wanted him in the right hands. And I'm just glad we were the right hands for him. What type of challenges do will other teams have going against these tackles that you guys have? You know, saving you know I, I see it as the other way around. They're the problem. You know, we got to address them. You know, we, we're going to play our style of football up to the standard of Colorado Bulls football, but we got to study our opponent. We're worried about them. You know, we want to attack those guys. So, you know. We got a long way to go. We got a long way to go. So I don't see us as a threat. We got to get better and become a threat. You know what I mean? We got to become a threat.
Looking forward to the room. season. Um, what's your philosophy in terms of ro rotating ends? Do you like to keep guys together, or do you kind of like to get guys in there with different guys, just kind of mix it up there? Absolutely. We're going to rotate. We're going to get in great shape and be able to rotate in and out, you know, for four quarters. And um, the guys know that, and there's not one selfish guy in my room. We're, we're a brotherhood. We're together. We win together. We lose together. We bust calls together. We eat together. We talk together. Everything we do. There's no individual. We're just the Bucks group, the outside linebackers group. That's it. So who's ever in the game, they're in the game. When they get tired, they need a blow. We're going to put another guy in. We're just going to rotate. And everyone's going to eat. Everyone. How much of an advantage is that for you guys if you can be deep and be, be fresh throughout a game like that? Absolutely. Coming from the University of Georgia, that's what they do. Depth. Depth is, is a strength in numbers. You know, and I think that's what we have. And, the guys understand that, and we're going to rotate, and we're all going to make plays, and we're going to do it together. If not, it's not the place for you. Yes, sir. How do you think they did it with their uh, impressions of you? I didn't know. I didn't think I sounded like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, never even said, I think they did a good job. <laughs> I, I always lose my voice, you know, because I yell a lot. But it was cool. It was cool seeing their person, impersonation of me. Yesterday, I gave uh, 41 defensive player today for his practice, and that was a result of some direct coaching from you where his response to direct coaching. What does it mean to you when you see players turn it up after you get on? It, it just says what type of player they are, what type of individual they are. You got to hit a message and not the tone, and you're right, Neely. I got in 41 pretty good just to see where he, you know, he busted, he made some mistakes, just to see how he would respond, and man, he turned his, his play up a notch sense of urgency is his physicality but I want him to go and do that every time without me having to you know scream at him or yell at him you know? and with this two weeks behind us in camp now do you find you have had to learn how to motivate players differently based on their personality absolutely need it that's it they're all different you know some guys you only need to you know just bring them along and they'll go some guys need a little toning up you know some some guys need you to get in their ass part of my language, you know. But you just got to find the happy medium between each guy. You got to coach them all differently. But uh, however you want me to coach you, I'll do it. All right, thanks. Good luck. Thank you.